Richard. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, I'd like to ask uh, Robin to give a report on the conditions of the road as a result of the recent rains. Um, we had approximately 54 roads that required immediate attention. Um, all of that has been addressed by 445 today. We had six trees down. Of course, we still have all the roads to grain ditches. Um, we plan on starting a 12-hour shift tomorrow and have all the roads graded by Friday. Then we'll also start clearing pipes. And of course, as soon as the water dries up, we'll start pulling ditches and getting the roads back in order. We have three employees that actually work most of the night. Okay. Thank you, Blake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Ashley, do you have any additional information? Beyond what Robin said, um, you know, we did our rainfall totals were anywhere from three to five inches, depending on where, where we were in the um, where you were in the county. Um, you know, we didn't have any additional issues other than, than the road issues she addressed, and all of those issues have been taken care of. What we're going to have to monitor for the next few days is um, the river levels are getting up near the flood stage. So, um, you know, we did have a significant amount of rainfall to the north of us. The information we've gotten from the National Weather Service so far indicates that while the, um, we may get up above the, the minor flood stage, we don't expect any additional roads or, or definitely the, the main thing, no structures are expected to be impacted. So we're not expected to have any flooding issues or any damage occurs or anything of that nature. So uh, we'll continue to monitor it and if something changes, um, we're keeping everybody updated and we're ready to, to react if we need to. But fortunately, it doesn't appear that we're going to have any significant issues uh, as long as we don't get any more rain in the next, in the next uh, you know, week or so to let things dry out. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, commissioners, prior to the meeting tonight, um, you probably had an opportunity to see the pictures that were posted as well as the audience had an opportunity to notice those uh, pictures that were taken this weekend, this past weekend, from an event at uh, the Animal Shelter. Hey, would you like to comment on that event? Mm -hmm. um, sure. As a part of National County Government Month on Saturday, Animal Welfare hosted an open house and an adoption event at the shelter. Um, I am pleased to report that there were 19 animals that were either rescued or adopted out of the shelter. Um, this is a huge day for our animal population. Normally, the combined efforts of our rescue and the shelter on a Saturday are not that number. So it was great to have the public's uh, support of that. We had a lot of coordination with our rescues that went on, and citizens also had an opportunity to see the current condition of the shelter. Um, so they can compare that to after the SPLOS improvements are made. There is $800,000 in SPLOS that was allocated by the voters to improve the shelter, um, and it's nice to see that they'll see a, a first-hand example of their SPLOS dollars at work. Good job. Good job. Yeah, they did, I would like to say, I mean, they did a fantastic job. I had the opportunity to go by out there. Uh, the staff and all, everybody was very pleasant. Uh, had a lot of good comments, had a lot of good comments from the shelters that, as well that were participating, uh, with some of the rescues that were participating. So. 19 pets were rescued or adopted, so that's good. A good event. Uh, very well done. <coughs> very, very professional. I say that. And remember, keep your pet in Spain, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we'll move on to 